welcome back to Your Town and the Arts of the Answer episode. And this special focus today is music for all. That's what we're about, really having music and the arts for absolutely everyone. Um, not just a lucky few here or there now and then, but really for everyone. And um, we are, the campaign is really about bringing music education to every student. But we have a really great treat uh, right today. We're, we're going to be talking with Mary Lee Sanseri, and uh, she's going to be helping me tell the story from the perspective of our littlest ones and their families. So music education starts before education. It's really at the heart of so much of what is really good for our kids. So Mary Lee, welcome. Thank you. So happy to be here with you. Paulette, <laughs> we go back a long way. It's fun. We do. It's yes. so, so phenomenal. Uh, we met when I was first putting first the first first night together, uh -huh. and you were gracious enough to say, well, whatever it is, you know, <laughs> I'll be well, <laughs> I don't know how it works, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's just been such a great journey. And there, too, we were really all about connecting people and the arts and helping people see the value of, of all these great things. Yeah. And um, so it's, it's just been such a beautiful journey. And since then, or at some point, you've been winning awards, Parent <laughs> Choice Award, and yes. also the yeah. American Library Association Awards. So mm -hmm. we are so grateful that you're in Monterey County and so active in all the great things that we're doing. Well, I'm so grateful that the community has opened its arms to me, that I, that I get to go to so many different places within the county and perform largely for children, sometimes for children as young as newborn oh. with their parents. And it's, it's very special to be allowed to do that, to be welcomed into doing that. Now, I, I believe you were doing some of that at Parents Place, right? And yes. then, then also now at the successor to Parents Place uh, in um, Marina? Yes. Is right? What is that? That's uh, PCMC. Um, Parent Connection Monterey County. Thank you. Parent, <laughs> Parent Connection Monterey County. There we go. <laughs> exactly. So um, tell us what that's like, um, both from the perspective of the little ones, but also um, to me, uh, I still remember when my son's 18 now, but I remember when he was a baby and how important yes. all that was to us. Well, you know, starting with babies, singing with babies, is something that I do every Friday afternoon at Parents Place. And, um, and people say, well, what kind of a music class can you give to babies? Yeah. <laughs> and they just think, well, they're too young. What are you talking about? Well, in fact, it's about their mothers and their fathers and their grandparents or whoever oh, their caregiver is, yeah. bringing them in their arms. And I'm at the front of a classroom with words, lyrics, yeah. next to me. And I'm singing songs that are hopefully as easy to sing as Happy Birthday. Yeah. That was my goal. Uh -huh, Let's make okay. it. We, it's called We Chant. Uh -huh. And I sing about 30 songs in the time that we're there. Wow. And I do the same ones over and over. Uh -huh. And so when parents come, they have a chance to um, learn the song, get comfortable with the song. So in a sense, I'm... Uh, although I start by singing to them, we continue by them singing to their babies. Oh. So then we make this wonderful connecting circle of the song goes out, they learn it, pick it up, and give it to baby. And it's babes in arms That's getting the, um, the song, the rhythm, because it isn't all lullabies. So we also do yes, uh -huh. lively, up-tempo songs as uh -huh. well. <laughs> and I even pass out shakers at a certain point. Yeah. Um, but we start very gently, and we always end very, very gently. And I think one of the things that music is famous for, well, for those who know about this, <laughs> it produces oxytocin. Oh, yes, please tell us oxytocin more about that. Oxytocin is this amazing hormone <laughs> of that de-stresses and relaxes. Okay. And it happens when these events happen, with when you're holding a child, and pretty soon your breathing slows down, yeah. and you're just calmly humming or singing a song that you know, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, whatever it might be. You're just there. Mm -hmm. And the oxytocin flows. And yeah. you see it in the baby's eyes. They get all sparkly. Yeah. You know, the baby lips looks up and they're all sparkly-eyed. <laughs> they're so beautiful. So starting there, mm -hmm. um, and I've been working um, at Parents Place for 20 years. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, started wow. 20 years ago. So what I see by being in the Parents Place, um, 
and in the in the Pacific Grove system, mm -hmm. is that then the next place I see them is in toddler class. Oh, okay. Now <laughs> they're a year old, year to three years old, and they're and running around. They're running around, and you know how are we going to get their attention? <laughs> and how are we going to? And again, parents are with them, yeah. so um, we have songs where they lift them up, and then they put them back down, and they lift them up and down. So there's always movement, and there's also another chance for that holding, yeah. quiet time. So it's a it's a constant movement class for me of going fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, uh. slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. So there's a lot of um, of that kind of thing going on in my head. How can I break this up? Mm -hmm. And although I do a lot of the very familiar songs of. Um, Oh, you know, folk songs of Chiffer children in the United yeah. States. There, you know, she'll be coming around the mountain. Yeah. You know, right on through all the all everyone's favorites. Um, it it just is is a wonderful thing because again, the parents are familiar with it. Yeah. These are not intimidating pieces of music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, you know, parent doesn't go, oh well, I, you know, I just I can't sing Happy yeah. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, you can. <laughs> we all do. We can. And um, and then the child has that. I've also taken to, this sounds so funny, but I give away my CDs now. There was oh, a time did? I used to sell them. Yeah. But in those two classes, I give them CDs. Oh. Because the repetition of the class, then the CD is in the car. Yes. Uh -huh, now uh -huh. baby's crying yeah. in the car, and they put the music on, and baby goes, who? Wow. Wait a minute, we just, she was just, where is she? Uh -huh. <laughs> and they're looking all around for me. But, the, but it triggers that calming, right? It does. So it becomes it does. a signal. Yes. It's all good. I'm yes. Okay. So parents come up to me and say things wow. like, they say things like, "Oh, we had to go all the way to San Diego and we had to drive and we listened to your music all the way." <laughs> and I, I always want to go. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it was the way that it kept the children calm. Well, and what, you're, what you're what you're too humble to say, probably, but also you are a super talented singer. So you're singing <laughs> you know, these songs that supposedly anybody could sing, but. I'm sure that's what they hear in the CD as well. Yes. Is that really great quality? That's why they can listen for the eight, ten hours it takes to get yeah. to San Diego. <laughs> that's right. Listen over and over and over again because yeah. your voice is so gorgeous and yeah. there's just this beautiful, wonderful, warm quality to it. Thank so, you. Um, just all good things. So again, we're just so, 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 so fortunate. So, can you talk about what the parents describe? That this is a magic thing. I was trying to figure out what is that magic potion. I could see. That, that music, particularly the arts, generally help kids who are really kind of rambunctious, you know, especially that, that yes. uh, as you can yes. see in a lot of two-year-olds, but, but even much, much older, you can see that that nervous energy is just working itself out, and half of the time they can end up on timeout, you know, in, in a classroom that has a lot of kids in it. And then the, the other ones who are shy can be completely forgotten mm -hmm. in, in, a, in a big group because they just they're just kind of waiting their turn and it doesn't come. Yeah. But music really uh, gives them a voice, and so I just kept kept trying to think. So why why does it work on both ends of that spectrum? Yeah. And that, but you use the term de-stress. Yes. And that that's the answer. Music does de-stress, and, de -stress. and, and it can it can bring you back to attention. It can relax you. The, the beat of it is very attractive. I think that... The pulse, is that I like think a that heartbeat? Yes, is I that think that that is what the essence of it is. Uh -huh. It starts prenatally, yeah. you know, so you're there. Yeah. You're right there. And having a beat is something you can hang on to. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, it's like extending beats. So, you know, first it's just the beat of the heart. Yeah. Then it becomes the beat of a song. Uh, okay. And then the song has words that are attached to the beat, yeah. and these things become familiar and repetitive. Um, I have a friend that always says, I want you to remember 26 things, I'm going to give you a list. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have that look on their face like, huh? <laughs> and, the, and the 26 things are the alphabet. <laughs> and we can all sing the alphabet, it's 26 I things. I think of that all the time. Yeah. But if we didn't have the song and the beat, yes. the melody attached to those sounds, right. it would be a very difficult task. It would be impossible, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 So all of these um, early songs of childhood have that attachment to ideas, to vocabulary, to developing language, developing emotion. Mm -hmm. And um, emotional development is so vital right and it takes time yeah and it does take um, a lot of parents being with their child mm -hmm. maybe even more than they ever realized when they when they <laughs> bought into this idea have a kid oh have fun. it's a yeah. lot of work yeah. and you've got to be really near them yeah. a lot 
It's so important. So this is something that uh, I'm finding in a lot of research is mm -hmm. that there is a time in our history, the recent history, where um, music, art, and even even PE, they would say, okay, yeah, yeah, we don't have much time for that either. Uh, recess, that you know, a few minutes, fewer, fewer, fewer. Cutting out all those things where there's any kind of mind-body mm -hmm. connection, um, and and that was that was a period that lasted. In California, anyway, up until a couple of years ago, and now it's really changing. That's why we have this big Music for All Monterey County campaign, yes. trying to restore all the fundamentals. Um, and it seems to me that that is really a big piece of the whole puzzle, is um, getting that mind-body connection uh, reconnected. <laughs> yes. Well, and how do you do that? You know, yeah. um, Many, many teachers and, and adults that I work with who also work with children have grown quite shy of singing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, they've become self-conscious. It's something that somebody else does. It's like, right? Not yes. Anymore. Yes, and we have, you know, television shows showing us how brilliantly people are supposed to be singing. Yeah. And the reality is most people have very pleasant voices. Yeah. Their child will love the sound of their voice. <laughs> At least for a few it, years. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's... <laughs> but it's in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not going to hurt them if you sing in a plain and sweet way. Yeah. It's not going to hurt them at all. Yes. And it becomes family songs. Now you have family songs. Now developing that idea, again, working from holding the baby and yeah. singing, now you're moving with the baby and singing, now you've got a young child, and yeah. now you've got family songs. Well, what are your family songs? Well, you know, maybe you're sticking your child's name in a song. Yeah. Maybe a teacher is going through the whole classroom and singing um, a song that adds each child's name. Yeah. So each child has that moment of, oh, wait a minute, she's coming to me. I'm the next one. Oh, it's my name. It means so much we to them. We had one of those when we were doing that baby class that of um, the whole group would sing the baby's name. And yeah. Each verse it would be another baby's name. And yes, and one yes. One of the babies that must have been toddlers at the time. But you bring that into... Um, preschool level yeah. and we see it a lot um, in camp songs uh -huh, yeah. you know when you go to camp everybody gets to have their name spoken and you become part of a community through a melody and a beat and a song and now you're in it and that that really draws people in they feel a part of it yeah that's wonderful so what were some of your favorite um, moments so far ah uh, where do we begin <laughs> <laughs> moments you know, I, I'm i just so lucky to be in the presence. I, I don't know, I can't think of an individual moment right now. Kids come up to me and, and you know, they'll run into the room and hug me. Uh -huh. and it's like, you it's don't know me, but it's instantaneous. I'm the uh, music lady. I brought yeah. music to them. And so next yeah. time they see me, I'm their friend. Yeah. And, and I put their name in a song. Same kind of thing. It just, it creates closeness and mm -hmm. not just... Um, not just among the parent and the child, um, yeah. around, among the larger community. Yeah. You know, if you go into a church setting or a community setting where people are singing a familiar song yeah. each yeah. week, yeah. The, the, you know, the nice couple sitting next to you, oh, they know that song, you yeah. know, if it comes, yeah. well, that's how, how we are, we're human, and as humans, we have this that we share and that is in common. And yeah. that must be like when they run up to you, the they must be. They must have that expectation. They have that visceral memory yeah. that this is a great experience, and they want more. So yeah. it's just give me more of that. Yeah. They don't want it to end. Yeah. And this is another thing. I have to say that I do keep my performances short uh -huh. because I, I never want a child to cry and say, oh, "It's too much. I want to go uh, outside." Yeah. <laughs> it's like no. St you know, we want it to be. Uh, long enough to get you involved, yeah. keep you involved. If I start to see the the room is erupting into wiggles, <laughs> it's time to, <laughs> it's time because they're going to cry next. So I don't want them to cry. I want them to be happy. Yeah, yeah. And I'll wrap it up. Oh. And um, by keeping things short and sweet, uh, that's been a real advantage. So never force. I would never force music on a child. I would not oh, insist sense, yeah. that they hear music. I would never play really loud music in a child's presence. Yeah. I, um, it's kind of tiptoeing in. Uh -huh. It's a tiptoe in to their lives, to their musicality, to their comfort zone with music. It seems like, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Aikido as a metaphor. Oh, yeah. And, and it seems like it's that. You meet them where they are. Yeah. You walk them through something. Yes. You give them this great transformational experience and then gently, gently 
Now you're both going in the same direction. That's why they come back and say, more, right. more, 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 right, right. when they're ready. You know, we see patterns as we do things. You know, yeah. it starts here, and then it's, it builds up, and you've got a whole mountain, and then it gently falls yeah, down. Is it, right. was, this is all planned. Yeah. This is not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, they're so, so lucky. So what's next for you? As, well, let's see. What day is it? Today is um, <laughs> <laughs> today's Wednesday. Tomorrow, I'll be at my museum. Oh, and my museum has been a wonderful support for my music as mm -hmm. well. Uh, just a great organization of people, and yeah. I'm there every Thursday at ten, and oh. we sing for a half an hour. And and With I was whoever's there is that drop in? That's drop in. Okay. So whoever comes comes. So there might be people visiting, and they're just yes. there to have some place to be. Public at large, That's or amazing. familiar faces, yeah. or you know, usually children on the younger side because it would be parents that have children that are not in preschool yet. Yeah. So that. Thursday morning, 10 o'clock slot yeah. is this magical slot. And so, yes, I just burst into song. And just, <laughs> just before I came here, I was at Carmel Library, and oh. I'll be at PG Library. And uh, last month, I was in all the San Mateo County libraries. I so, saw right. Yeah, so sometimes I travel yeah. a little farther afield. But yeah. it's always to bring this very specific idea that music is fun, uh -huh. that it's easy, that I really want the parents to participate mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. their child. Um, that that makes all the difference. And how do you, you, you said you're keeping it simple and fairly familiar, but how else do you get parents to let go of their own shyness and whatnot? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, years of just thinking that somebody else is the singer, I'm not. Yeah. How, yeah. Do, you get, how do you help them get past that? You know, I'm, I'm in the lucky position of having longevity in this area. <laughs> and so what happens is, um, for instance, at a, at a baby class at Parents Place, a new mother comes in and she's very quiet and she's shy. And, and I'm saying, you can sing or say your baby's name. Doesn't uh -huh, have to, uh -huh. you know, although, you know, Johnny shouldn't be too hard, but I know. <laughs> Some of them are that self-conscious that, yeah, yeah. that they're, they're that. Yeah. Well, the advantage is I have a room full of people who have been there maybe for six months okay. or nine <laughs> months. And pretty soon the person sitting next to them says, Johnny. And they go, oh, well, it wasn't so hard. <laughs> and after a few weeks, they can do it. That's and phenomenal. all you can do is, is, you know, they can hear this person next to them is not some elegant operatic gift. This is just a person singing her child's name. Yeah. And you will now be a person singing your child's name. And we start with that and we move forward and then the songs are familiar mm -hmm. and they um, they probably have the experience at home of, I'm trying to put my, my child to sleep. What was that song that he yeah, liked on the CD? All right, we'll hum that one right now. And I'll sing words and you know, a baby is not gonna judge its parent at all. A that baby comes is much later. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> judgment. You have to learn to judge. You know, a baby's like, oh, whatever my mom does is wonderful. <laughs> Mary Lee, thank you so much for being with us. Thank oh. you for sharing all these great things that, you know, even before a child gets to school, music, music education, we can say, you know, is really important. Yes. But look how important it is for, for parents, for grown ups to also participate and and to really uh, de-stress through the music. I mean, there's just nothing better. Absolutely, and you're not going to have music <laughs> in elementary school unless you had music with your baby. It uh, starts there. Yeah, yeah, that's where the love begins. So, yeah. thank you thank for having you. me. Thank you so much. <laughs>